Let's take a brief look at a Red Care Secure Unit we installed at our office. We will be monitoring this system for fire and fault. And to do this, we will be using the fault relay and the fire relay contacts as shown here. The unit can be installed anywhere, above or below the fire alarm control panel, or even a remote location. In this example, we have installed it above on the right hand side. The wiring from the fire alarm fire and fault relays are connected to the Red Care Secure unit as shown. Fire is the blue wire on pin 1 and the fault is the yellow on pin 2. The red and black wires are the power to the unit. The black box to the left is the antenna. This is used to transmit the alarm signals using the GSM network. The digital display provides the GSM signal strength and alarm signal information. Right, let's carry out some testing and view the results. As you can see from my mobile phone, the date is Friday the 17th of April at 11.42. The first test will be generating a fault by removing the 230 volt supply. You will see on the digital display the fault has been received, showing an alarm on channel 02. We will reinstate the supply and reset the fire panel to put it back to normal. That concludes test number one. The next test will be another fault test and it's been recorded at 11.44. And if you can do a detector uh, battery fault. So the engineer will remove the battery backup supply that will again generate a fire alarm fault. It will take some time to raise the fault. Same time, alarm coming from channel number two. The fault has been accepted, the battery has been reinstated, and the panel reset. The following test at 11.45 was another fire alarm fault generated by the removal of a smoke detector. Hold on. Take that detector. Let me see again. That. So you're taking the detector out. Yep. Following the, the activation of the fault on the fire alarm, okay. the head is reinserted, Hello. and the fault yeah. is now cleared. Okay. The following test will be recorded at 11:46. But this time it will be a fire alarm activation and not a fault. That's it, right? Fire. Yeah. You will now observe that on the digital display, the alarm indication is now followed by 01 as opposed to 02. 01 is a number for a fire alarm activation. The fire alarm system has gone back into the fire alarm condition as there is still smoke detector gas within the chamber of the detector. This second alarm will also be recorded in the event log. This now concludes our testing. We have generated three faults which were the loss of the 230 main supply, the disconnection of the backup battery and the removal of the smoke detector. This was then followed by a fire alarm activation using the test gas, followed by a second activation due to test gas still remaining in the smoke detector. We will now review the activations within the touch portal management system. We will now review the activations within the touch portal management system. The touch portal is accessible via the web, allowing you to view the site history from your desktop or mobile device. At arriving at the portal, you enter your security details and this will take you into the account statistics overview page. We then click the top option, total systems monitored, to view a list of all the sites currently active and being monitored.
The site we are looking for is our office, Fire Systems Limited. We click on this and this takes us to a further list of options. We then select the events history and this will reveal an event history log. In relation to the test we carried out earlier, our first test was on Friday the 17th at 11.42. This was the removal of the 230 volt main supply. As you can see it is listed as a fire fault under a zone ID of 2. If you remember all faults will be logged as channel 2. Once the fire alarm panel is reset, this is also logged as a restored PA zone and the time is recorded. If we continue with the next fault, which was the removal of the backup battery. As you can see, the fault was logged again as a fire fault, channel 2, at 11.44, and restored at 11.44. The next fault was the removal of the smoke detector, and this was recorded at 11.45, and restored at 11.45. All of these fault signals came in on zone ID of 2 which is channel 2. Our first fire alarm activation is recorded at 11.46 and is listed as a fire alarm with a zone ID as channel 1. The system is restored at 11.46. Finally we have another fire activation. This was due to the detector reactivating the system as the sensing chamber still had an element of test gas within it. The reactivation was recorded at 11.46 and restored at 11.47. As you can see from the event log, all alarms have been accounted for and matched the times recorded.